All right, the fifth grade is going on a field trip to see the movie Wonder. 67 students are going, and the school is using vans to transport the students to the movie theater. If only nine students can fit into a van, how many vans will the school need to use to make sure every fifth grader gets to see the movie? So, I'm going to go ahead and circle my key math numbers here. So 67 students and nine students uh, that can fit inside each van. And then I'm going to underline the question. So the question is, how many vans will the school need to use to make sure every fifth grader gets to see the movie? So in order to answer that question, we need to know what operation are we going to be using to solve this question. So we're going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Well, we have a total in this problem, and the total is 67 students. When you know a total, you can use division. So I'm going to set this division problem up, and the total is always going to be your dividend, and your dividend is always going to go inside the house. So I have 67. And I'm going to divide 67 by 9. So I'm going to start digit by digit inside the house with my dividend. And I know that 9 can't go into 6 because there is not a multiple of 9 that is close to 6 without being bigger. So instead, I'm going to move from the 6 and include the 7. And I'm going to ask myself, is there a multiple of 9 that's really close to 67 without being bigger than 67? And in fact, there is. And that multiple is 63. And 63 happens to be the seventh multiple of 9. And so when we multiply 7 times our divisor 9, we get 63. And we find the difference between 63 and 67. And that difference is 4. So our answer to 67 divided by 9 is 7 remainder 4. So, we have seven remainder four, but does that really answer the question, how many vans will the school need to use to make sure every fifth grader gets to see the movie? Because we don't want to lose sight of the real question here. We did the math, we got an answer, which is great, but we don't want to lose sight of the actual question. Well, if I look at seven remainder four, it provides a hint or a clue uh, how many vans we're going to need, but the answer itself doesn't really tell us how many vans we need. Because I'm not going to say, I need seven remainder four vans, uh, because I'm not really sure what that means. I don't know what a remainder four van or vans really means. I don't know if that makes sense. So uh, I'm going to uh, draw a picture to the side here that hopefully helps us understand um, how we can interpret this seven remainder four and, and, and help us answer this question of how many vans we need. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle and that rectangle is gonna represent a van. So you're gonna have to use some imagination. So each van can hold nine students. So I have one van. And that holds nine students. And then I have two vans, and that holds nine students. So, so far, 18 students are going to the movie. Now I have three vans. So now 27 students are on their way to the movie theater. Here's my fourth van. That van also has nine students. 
Here's my fifth van. So I have five vans all together, nine students in each van. So 45 students are on their way to see Wonder. Now I have my sixth van. And now I have my seventh van. So seven vans, nine students in each van. That only accounts, or that only includes 63 students. But wait a second, there's 70 or 67 students who want to go to the movie theater. So I'm at an interesting crossroads here. I can do one of two things. I can either leave four students behind at school. So they're not in a van. They're very sad. They're not going to get to see Wonder. Or I can use an eighth van. And remember, that eighth van's not going to be full. It's only going to have four students, which is our remainder. So it's not going to be full. Um, but now that I have eight fans, all 67 students are going to be able to go to the movie theater. So the, the fifth grade class is going to be very happy because they're going to get to spend the school day going to see Wonder and eating popcorn, uh, which sounds like a good time to me. Okay, so... Going back to the question, how many vans will the school need to use to make sure every fifth grader needs to see the movie? Well, I simply have to, uh, I simply have to count the number of vans in my diagram or my picture here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vans, or I can look at my division problem, 67 divided by 9, and I can round up my 7. So I'm going to round up the quotient, and I'm going to just add 1 to my quotient. And so 7 plus 1 is going to be equal to 8. And so the answer to this question is... Um, eight vans are needed. And this whole uh, story problem, this is an example of a division problem where you need to round up, where you need to round up. The quotient. Round up the quotient. All right, so hopefully this helps you guys understand a, a situation uh, where rounding up the quotient is needed.